mornings <laughs> with Luann and Tim on TV. Oh, TGI. Did I mention it's Friday? Yeah. You were, singing, it? you were singing in your car on the I way to work. I was singing in my car, driving to work at about 20 to 6, just like, la, 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 la. And he tells hey, me not one, to sing. That wasn't bad, that one. Oh, a little, a little vibrato there and everything. Yeah, well, you know, I've been practicing because <laughs> I, I work with you now. So I, I wasn't to... singing in my car. No. I was driving very carefully so yes. as not to hurt my Yes, you had a boo-boo. I, oh. I had to see the chiropractor yesterday. And it just, yeah, it hurts. Okay, so I have this thing. My shoulder was out and it's pinched nerve and arm and stuff. I couldn't lift my arm and it was, it was, I was actually, it was a lot of pain. But my chiropractor saw me very quickly. It was mm -hmm. very wonderful. But I, I don't know if you know this about me, Luann, but sometimes I can be loud. Really? And so I was in the room with the guy and uh, uh, with one of the doctors or whatever you call them, chiropractor guy. He's a doctor. Okay. So um, he was lifting and moving it, and I was like, <gasps> uh, being me, uh, uh, like loud. Plus you're a... And then the senior partner comes in and at <laughs> one point and opens the door to see what's going on, because yeah. I'm so loud. He's like, what's going on? And, he, and, he, and I had tears, because was, I was in so much pain. And he said, are you crying? Are those tears? And I said, yes. And he said, good. He said, <laughs> I'm crying too, because you're scaring off my clients. <laughs> So <laughs> you're such a suck, really. So, no, it was hurting. Well, you're a big baby. Mm. Suck it up. Mm. So then, <laughs> so then I go. I so then I leave, and I get to the cash area, mm -hmm. and and the, the two behind the counter are looking at me, and they're trying not to laugh. And I said, "What?" And they said, "Okay, well, we had some new patients who've never <laughs> been here before, and when you started making that noise." The looks on their faces. They were like, oh. what are we in for? Yeah. And so then he says, so now you owe me 150 bucks for the three clients that walked out. <laughs> and I said, well, the joke's on you. I can't lift my left arm to get the money out of my wallet. So there, have that. Anyway, it's much They're better. They're awesome they, there. They gave me, ex I, didn't, I didn't say the name because I didn't want to say about the new clients. And stuff. But anyway, um, they are awesome. They, we have yes. the same chiropractor. Yes. And they are so phenomenal. And they gave me exercises to do, and mm -hmm. I did them diligently, walking up the wall with my arm. Not with my feet, but my arm. Anyway, it's much better. Good. And they did the treatment with acupuncture, so I'm on the mend. Good, good. Glad to and hear And I it. hope that they get their clientele back. Yes, I'm sure they will. I, I'm yeah. sure they How? will. They're going to they're gonna, um, um, make your appointments now for after hours. Exactly. You're going to have like to go in there at midnight. My personal trainer at the gym used to tell me that he wouldn't schedule appointments with me when they were doing tours of the gym because <laughs> I was too noisy and scared people away as well. <laughs> I don't know. I can so see that. <sighs> what you need to do is catch the ace. Apparently, Holy smokes! My goodness! I had no okay. I had no idea it was as out of control as it is. Three hundred and seventy thousand seven hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. And that's, that's about, how much it's worth. And that's about how many people were lined up along Second Line West. Yesterday. Jim came home Look yesterday. Yeah, Jim came home yesterday and he said, "Take a look at this picture that I took, all the way down Second Line and then down." Uh, People's Road I, onto Wellington. That's where I was going because right. I had to go to the uh, drugstore. My right. drugstore is down in the, in the West End. So, uh, lawn chairs, lawn, you know. People in lawn chairs at 3 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Doesn't start till 9 o'clock? Yeah, 9 I heard they started lining up at 11 a.m. Yes. Who are you people? I guess that's why they, maybe they don't have jobs and that's why they need the $400,000. Well, because like all day? Unless you're How on holidays. How can you sit there all day? Right? And then you can't. You, where, why are they sitting there? They can't get into the club. There's a Yeah, like even when you get there, you're not going to get there. So they all stand in the parking lot and wait for the numbers I, to be I called? guess. I don't know. And then, I, and then the police had a whole, a whole lane cordoned off on second line. Wow. Like this is serious. And there's still no winner. Somebody no. won 40 grand, I heard. Um, actually, 55, almost $55,000. That'd come and in he's, handy. And he's considering retiring and stuff, so this is going to be oh, awesome Oh, good for, for him. him. Yeah, isn't that good? I love that story. And you know what? Kudos to the Esquire Club, because seriously, all local charities are supporting. I, well, I Boomer. know. Boomer. Boomer, Brado. get her done. Boomer. And Dominica, yes. Yes, isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. And they do the they do the porchettas, too. <gasps> They're so fun. Oh I, I've only done it one time. God. I had no clue. Porchetta starts at 3. three. If you come uh, in after 3 o'clock, porchetta starts at 3, and everybody yells it at you. So Gina you called like porchetta. 
Yes, I heard. For the YMCA. They're here today, by the way. Oh, good. Our YMCA is coming in as guests today. And, of course, it's Friday, so we have the Humane Society today as well. Yay. And then also Daniel LaPrade from uh, KC Security talking about some stuff, getting ready for fall. And they're having a fun day, staff day. And the whole community is invited to Bellevue Park. We'll talk about that coming up on the show as well. We can feel very well taken care of in the community with uh, folks like Dan taking yes, care Yes, I've got a story to share with him, too. I'm going to tell him about a, a scam that's going <gasps> on right now in my very a neighborhood. Scam. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that as well. Oh, okay. I'm a little upset about, you know how I feel about the trains, right? I'm a real advocate for like getting the yes. stay keeping the trains on track. You're folks. a real advocate for letting people get the heck out of Sault Ste. Marie when they want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they come back. The trains yeah, go both of course, ways. Of course. Um, so we've, the Greyhound, we know, is departing in, o is it October? I think so. Yes. And yes. so the train, uh, sadly, Mr. Butlin tried, and they all, the Neorn, and they all tried to get that meeting with the minister, and it only went down from a 45 minute to, nope, sorry, you know, it only has 15 minutes. And they thought, that's not going to be enough time to present our case. So they went to somebody else, and that person said, we'll talk you through some grant proposals because maybe you're in the wrong, H here on Central is applying for the wrong yeah, money in yeah, the wrong places. Right. It's not looking good. No. It's and the not. last thing I heard from Mr. Butland was that they're just counting on Doug Ford to keep his promise. <laughs> good luck. Buck a beer, though. Oh, you got buck a beer. Buck a beer. Well, he has kept some promises. Come on, the the uh, hydro mm -hmm. got rid of the board, and then the hydro. He did that. Yeah, he buck did. Buck a beer, he did. Imagine how much he, um, he asked. He asked the uh, curriculum. He promised us he'd do that. Yes, he did. Didn't he? But you know what? The 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 hydro thing. Mm -hmm. Like the, he had to pay all those board members a severance. Oh yeah. So imagine how much that cost the province. There's ten at least ten board members. So they're counting Just saying, on Doug you know Ford what? to keep his promises. And then in the next story I read, I hear the PC government has halted the opening of any new safe injection sites because it's under further review to determine yes. if they should continue to operate. Luann, we I sat know. in this next studio to us. We did debates, and Ross Romano, I purposely put a question yes, in about did. injection sites, mm -hmm. and he said more funding would be coming. He did say it. I have it on he tape, did. folks, so yeah. I don't know how that story got changed, Ross, but I hope in September, when they come back with the review, you're going to follow through on what you promised our community. Absolutely. I'm going to have no friends left after I have. Why did I As get this As if you job? had any to start with. Another issue. Yes. <laughs> this is a couple of days old, but this absolutely floored me. So there's this gentleman, mm. and his name is Christopher Garnier, and I'm saying it because he was convicted of murder back <gasps> in 2015. Oh. He murdered Officer Catherine Campbell in Halifax. Oh. So in 2017... He was sentenced. He's in jail. The Veterans Affairs, the national organization to take care of our veterans, are paying for him to be treated for PTSD while he's in jail because he says he got the PTSD during the murder. What? Seriously? Veterans Affairs? His father was a veteran. So there are um, uh, special situations when family members can be treated if the, the veteran is in good standing. So the father apparently has PTSD. So the dad's argument is, well, I have PTSD. My son has PTSD. So this is helping us. Well, good for you. But he got the PTSD because he murdered a woman? Yeah. I wonder if she's going to get, uh, her family is going to get any kind of Veterans Affairs support. Seriously. There are services available in jail. Lucky for you, you killed somebody. Unbelievable. Now I think I know how you feel when I get all worked up about things. It's scary in here. No. Let's... Tim, our veterans. I know, Luann, that money should not be going to support that somebody who's a murderer. That is horrible. Somebody made a bad decision there. Can we get some answers, people? Luann needs some answers. <sighs> Anybody out there have any answers for us? Please hurry. Luann, <laughs> Luann has PTSD from the story. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, maybe the people from maybe the people from the YMCA can help us feel better about ourselves. Yeah, jobs. we'll do some uh, jumping jacks. Oh, I can't. My left arm doesn't go up. You could do one arm. Suck that's it up. A what a wuss! Jack. That's a jumping. I don't know what that is. What is that? 
I don't a jumping know. It's a jumping school bus guard. It's a jumping kamasava. Be, be careful of school buses. We're back to school, people. Yes. Watch out for school buses. Okay, listen, we got to go to a commercial okay. break. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and talk to Daniel LePrat about what's going on in my neighborhood and safety and security. And then he's going to talk about a party. We love parties. We love parties. So stay with us. We'll be right back after this message. One more is with Luann and Tim. Cheers, my friend. Bye. Bye. Happy Friday, Daniel LaProd. Hey, how are you? I'm well. Thanks for joining us again on the show. Nice yes. to have you. Casey Good to see Security, you. a young entrepreneur in Sault Ste. Marie. Yes. And business is going well for you? It is. It is. It's been a busy summer, yeah. and we're still going full steam ahead, but, uh, you know, it's look, been a... Look at the pictures behind us. That's you guys at the Relay for Life? Yes, we were there. Uh, you guys were there, I too. I saw you. That was so, a great event. Yeah. And then why the heck are you showing me snow banks in August? Dave? Well, you know, we always want to remind people that winter's, you know, winter's everybody's coming. complaining about the heat, so... Oh, thanks. Yeah, our air yeah. conditioner broke, so he puts up pictures of the snow banks. That, I thought I'd make it feel cooler. Yeah. Well, you know, See? you did. You know, I keep everybody safe. You and keep then... us safe and happy. Yes. Very good. Listen, talking about safety, I want to yes. tell you a story about what's going on in my neighborhood that I think is really the people's my, uh, know about. Okay. So, my former co-host We've seen this Scott, woman I don't know if you know walking that. Turnbull? our street Got me that um, with her phone out. Yeah. And uh, I'm going at out different to times that. of the day. Yeah, that's what I said. Why? None, none really I was going to get a from our street, our neighborhood. <laughs> and so one of my neighbors oh. was saying, you know what? I think she's actually running her camera as she walks up and down the street Especially with my to video. see <laughs> cars in driveways, time of day, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. like scoping out the neighborhood. Mm. So I'm like, no, come really? What a kind of a scammer. Okay, right. clever. Same lady now shows up knocking on my neighbor's door yesterday and uh, the neighbor gets to the door and says what's going on and the lady says uh, i'm looking for my cat and she says oh and she's suspicious because this she thinks this is yeah. she's pretty sure this is the same woman that she saw like you know a week ago before looking for my cat really okay you live around here the girl says yeah where oh just over there just over there eh? mm. well you're not going to find your cat here because um I, cat, I catch cats. I have traps for cats because cats should not be wandering around. It's for their own good. Mm -hmm. I catch them safely. They're safe traps. And then I bring the cats to the Humane Society. Have you checked the Humane Society? And uh, the girl says, yeah, I checked. They don't have my cat. Okay. Well, listen, why don't, why don't we walk to your house together? And uh, we can maybe look around your house for your cat. Maybe your cat's, you know, maybe on your right. deck or something. Like a, and the girl's like, ah, uh, <laughs> right? So, no, come on, let's go. Well, I, I'm going to keep looking around here first a little bit more. Oh, well, then I'll come with you. Let's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'd like to help people out. So then uh, she's like, are you knocking on all the doors in the neighborhood? And the girl's like, yeah. And she's like, no, you're not, because my, my mother and my grandmother live across the street. And you didn't knock right. on their door. Anyway, so this goes on. The woman then tries to get into a, goes into a carport of a neighbor's house. While my neighbor is standing on the street waiting for her to walk with her to find out where she lives in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. the neighbors who own the house with the carport pull up and they're like, uh, what's going on? And my neighbor says, I think this woman who's in your carport right now is scoping out our neighborhood. Right, casing it out. Casing it out. Mm -hmm. So she comes out down the driveway from the carport. No, cat's not in there. And then he's like, the lady who owns the house is like, all my stuff is in the carport. Like, right. what are you doing? So then a boyfriend shows up of the girl who's scoping out the neighborhood and he goes up to my neighbor and says we're looking for our cat and she tells him the story about trapping the cat and he says i think that's a crappy thing to do and she says really uh, well i just think it's important to keep undesirable things out of our neighborhood <laughs> so then they managed oh they managed to get away from her to shoot there she's talking to other neighbors and they get hightailed out of there mm -hmm. the two of them she loses track of them and that's when i came home i pull up just when she's like mm, i lost them and i'm like who and then she discovers that we believe the young lady might be from Wanted Wednesdays. Okay. For a failure to appear, right. for possession of a firearm, uh, and theft under $5,000. Wow. So people, this is just to say that uh, if you've got strangers in your neighborhood that are pretending to look for lost animals, mm -hmm. maybe you want to see if they have a picture of that animal on their phone, because if you own a pet, wouldn't you have a picture of an well, animal? Well, yeah. And I, mean, I have pictures of my dogs on my phone. And think people will use any excuse they can in the book, right? I mean, there is legitimate times where somebody's looking for, you know, a lost child or, you know, a pet or something like that. But, I mean, now they're coming to all these new MOs to find ways. Another thing they do, they, they run up to your door, they knock on your door, you don't answer, you know, oh, nobody's home, right? You know, 
uh, if you're home, they just come up with an excuse. So, yeah, definitely. So what can you do? What, what like services do you provide? How can you help uh, people like in our neighborhood, that kind of thing? Where if, if we are concerned, I have, I have a home security system. Right. But even beyond that, like my yard, mm -hmm. my, I, I, we're getting, we have cameras, but not everybody can afford that, Daniel. So what can, we do, what can you do? Uh, well, we can do patrols, right? Um, there are a lot of places that we actually do no, well, we do vacation patrols if you're away, but we can actually do regular patrols, right? Like okay. neighborhood patrols. Um, you know, sometimes it might be a group of houses that you know all contract us out. Uh, we can patrol at random times, whatever they want. They can also call us if somebody's in their yard or for minor incidents, right? That the police might not need to deal with, right? Because they're mm -hmm. busy. Um, so a lot of times we can take on that. I call it incident response. That's the service that we market it as. Uh, you know, if somebody's got a gun or they got a weapon and they're in your yard, don't call us, call 911, right? That's, right. that's obviously, you know, you got to call the police. But we could be dealing with minor violations or people trespassing on your property, stuff like that, all for, you know, a lower cost than, right. you know. I like the idea, too, of, of neighbors getting together and hiring yes, a service. Yes, as a group. Especially with, you know, if you've got senior parents living somewhere and you're concerned, you know, maybe the kids could get together or the, or even hire you for, to, a lot of, I know people have a hard time with alarm systems sometimes, it confuses them. They do, yes. So we maybe having somebody like you and your company instead, who's a real person, mm -hmm. that they can, that can check in with them and stuff. Right, I mean, it's good to keep the alarm too. If you have right. an alarm or a camera's great, uh, an alarm system always goes hand in hand with the patrols, right? Uh, and, and I always tell people, make sure you arm it when you're in your house, right? The, the, the stay. Yes, always use the stay, you know, because people don't do that. And then, Asians. It, yeah, exactly. You oh, know. you're good. Yes. All right, listen, we're going to take a quick <laughs> commercial break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about home security and the services you provide. But then we're going to talk about the party you're having that yes. you decided to open up to the public, which I think is so gracious. We'll be back with more of Daniel LeProud from KC, KC Security <laughs> Services on Morning with Lou Energy. Drink some more coffee. No, 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 no. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. We're back with Daniel O'Prod in the studio, live on a Friday morning. <laughs> Daniel, with the, the summer's coming to an end, sadly, and with the snow banks behind me, and reminding me of that. <laughs> Uh, people are closing up cottages. We know that there are oftentimes break-ins at mm -hmm. cottages because people know that they're closing them up for the for the fall and winter. What kind of services could you do you provide uh, for for uh, patrolling cottages and stuff like that? Uh, so we do the same kind of service as we would for vacation patrol for a house. Uh, so you know when they're this is the thing now. Most people are shifting back to their homes, mm -hmm. so it's their cottages that are going to need to be looked after. Um, so we can still do you know the, the exterior checks. Um, we go all over the place, like we go to Haviland, Harmony, uh, Echo Bay, you, you St. Joe's Island, we've even really, done some eh? stuff, I mean, we can do it. Of course, the cost gets higher the further you are, well, but I mean, yes. yeah, exactly. Anyway. But uh, we can definitely cover it all, cover Good the cottages, know. yeah. And now, what about, uh, tell me about this event coming up that you got going on at Bellevue Park. Is it Bellevue Park? Yes, Bellevue Park. Go ahead, um, so on uh, Sunday, September 9th, from 1 to 4, we're having a staff get together. It was like a staff kind of party for the end of the summer. And then I thought, okay, why not make it where we can have the public join us, right? You're such a community kind and, of guy. And I am. And, and you know what? And my staff's been on my case and says, well, are we going to ever do anything for just us? And I probably will do something <laughs> just for them privately because, you know, I'm sure you know, they want something just for themselves. But I wanted to do something to involve the community because the community supports us. And, uh, and you know, we like to be at all kinds of events. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, why not put on something? They can come talk to us. So what are you going to do? In so, the park? Yeah, so we'll be under the picnic shelter in the park. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to have like coffee, tea, donuts, that kind of thing. Edie from Canadian Bush Plain Heritage Center will be down there. Uh, right. She'll be selling her popcorn and pop and water, and that'll all go to the Bush Plain, all the proceeds. Nice. And you guys are going to be there on TV. Yeah, oh, Bruce has confirmed that, uh, that you know, there will be a little table set up. Right. Um, I want them to do like a speaker's corner. I've always wanted them to do that, to have like a camera oh. there. You know how they do in Toronto? Speaker's oh, yes. Corner, I to see have that. people come on TV and just tell their stories or what they want to say or whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna, maybe we could do that there. Maybe. Okay, what else? Um, so people can come and ask us questions, right? If they've got a question about service, um, you know, and one of my employees, Ryan, mentioned that having people who are looking for to get into security or want some information or have a resume they want to bring down, hey, why not, right? Like a Come job down. fair too. Yeah, you know, we're Neighbors all there. One stone. Yeah, we're going to have, you know, I'm pretty sure majority of the employees, if not all of them, will be able to make it. And, uh, of course, we'll be there, the owners. So, 
Yeah, it's a great time. What time are you going to be there, eh? 1 to 4. 1 to 4, and that's what date again? Sunday, September 9th. Sunday? September? Rain or shine, too, I well, should Well, because you got the cover under the, yes. under the picnic area right. there, right? That's right. Oh, that's one. That's great for you to do that. Yeah. Have a so, great time. I'm looking forward I to it. I want to also just, uh, people um, who book events, like sometimes you'll book like, um, if you want to have something at Roberta Bunder Pavilion. Yes. Or licensed events. Oftentimes you can't get the license unless you're going to have security, right? So like, let's say you're having a fundraiser somewhere that, and you need to get a special license for that mm -hmm. venue, whatever. Do you provide security for those kinds of things that where they can hire you and you are the security for the event that allows them to get their liquor license and stuff like that? Yeah, we, we do. We do a lot of event security. Um, and it depends on the facility or the location, whether or not they require you to have security or if they can just use their own staff, their own volunteers, okay. right, as long as they have the smart serve. But um, most events require that. So somebody will contract us privately, they'll call and say, hey, I need so many security guards for an event, right? And, right. and we've done a lot of events, right? Like over the summer, like something like Relay for Life back there, you yeah. know, um, the downtown street parties. Oh, you yeah, guys are, we've, I've, we've I've done, seen yeah, you down We've done all those. We did Go North Music Festival, uh, oh, Laird Fair. Look at Daniel go. They pulled yeah. the street party picture. There, there, there we are there. So, Were yeah. you there when they got uh, run over by? <laughs> I was not. Now, I was, because uh, I work night Our shifts. got run over by that poor lady who yeah. was so confused. No, I work night shifts. Yes, as an owner, I work night shifts. I just got off night shift, but I'm awake. Um, but no, I got the phone you call. You got off work and came in here. I did, but I got the phone call that day, right? Yeah. And, and I was half asleep, and I said, what do you mean somebody drove into the, like, you know, I thought, okay, they just went around the barricade. No, nope, they actually went right into on TV. Yeah, so. they drove right over us. Huh. Our equipment. Oh well. Hey, yeah. listen. Um, we'll see you at the party on Saturday, September the ninth. Ninth from at Bellevue one, Park from one to four, one to four for the community. And if anybody has questions about security, it's Daniel Laprod, young entrepreneur, local boy, making good in Sault Ste. Marie with KC Security. Daniel, thank go you. home and go to bed and oh, have a wonderful you. long weekend. I will. Thank you, Tim. And we'll be back with news right after this on Mornings with Lou Ann and Tim. clarify that it's Sunday, September the 9th, is the party at Bellevue Park with KC Security. I think somewhere in that interview I said Saturday, but it's Sunday. So next Sunday. That would be the 9th? Yes. Okay, then that's 1 to 4 at Bellevue Park. Go down and party with KC Security and find the Sounds like fun, you. huh? Oh, yeah, they're great guys. What an awesome idea. Yeah. You know what I found on Twitter? I, I love Twitter. I love it too. The latest trend in jewelry. In jewelry? In jewelry. I love this, jewelry. It's called skin jewelry. So, it's actually jewelry that is built to look like it's an extension of skin on the person wearing it. I don't think I understand. What? Now, the see, so is that? that that's one of them. What is that? Look at the ankle. Wait, the, no, the heel. what's going on? Yeah, that's. It's actually just attached. But doesn't it look like she it's her wears skin? That? Yeah, how it's like I, wearing high heels. Why right? does, how does your skin blend in? It's not skin. It's just, well, they have, like, it's all, um, um, like, uh, narrowed, so it just blends right in. There's one guy who's got... How does it got, match your flesh tone? Well, that's the... Is it that's custom the, made? Yes, that's it's the secret. Custom made? There's, there's Wait, a guy so on this... you end up looking like a creature from, like, Star yes. Trek with a thing. You know the, what? There's a guy, he's got a choker on, and it's like, it goes out this far, and it goes all around him, and then it comes down across his chest, and it looks like it's a growth. I can't even... Like, why is that attractive? I, don't know. I mean, I like no. diamonds. Diamonds work for me. If you're ever thinking about buying me jewelry, diamonds. I, the flesh stuff? No, not so much. When Keith dies, I'm going to have him turn <gasps> into a diamond. <laughs> Well, wow! You, know, you can get people's you can get people's you got, ashes. You got into big diamonds. plans apparently. That's the only way I'm gonna get a diamond out of them is to have them turned into one. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? I'm I'm going to pick them up this weekend. Actually, hey, be afraid. You better Keith, be packing be Bowser right now because I don't want to sit in that hotel room and wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> you turn me into a diamond one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming up? The why? Oh, look at I can raise my arm. Excellent. C A Y M C A. Erica Tucker and Susan Ryamaki are here to talk about fall programming and a doggy swim. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh, doggy and swim. then we're going to go on to the, uh, to the uh, Humane Society. Yeah, them, the Humane Society to end the show. Well, no, we'll end the show with you. 
But uh, lots coming up, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this message. <laughs> oh, we're having fun here on TV this morning. I get to hang out with some friends of mine. My friend Sue Ryan Mac at the end, and Erica Tucker I haven't seen in a while. I know, it's so nice to see you It's again. always nice to see you. How you been? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. You have a great summer? Busy. At the Y. At the Y. What's your job title? I am the Supervisor of Adult Programs and Marketing. Good for you. Yeah. Wow. Sue, what's your title? You have I a am, couple. Well, <laughs> no, I just, I, just have, I just have one. It just incorporates a lot of stuff. Um, I am the resource development coordinator right now. Wow, that encompasses everything. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things. Because yeah. there's a lot yeah. of resources to develop there. there yes. Are? Absolutely. So they had, you had a busy summer. Yes. And so fall is coming up. And what's on the agenda, Eric? Fall uh, is coming up. We are gearing up for a lot of fun things. We have uh, one of the biggest things we're excited about are our water pool uh, class. Okay, so not water polo. Not water polo, water pole. P-O-L-E. P-O-L-E. I don't know what that means. So what it is, is a pole oh. with a base okay. that has suction cups on the bottom. All right. And we put it... Like a plunger. It, kind of. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> but not... Swimming with plungers at the Y. <laughs> on the base of the pool, yeah. it goes into the pool and it's, it's, it adheres to the bottom. Okay. And uh, then you use the pole for support, okay. stability, yeah. and we work out using the pole. Is it like pole dancing a in little, the water? A little bit. Erica, I a did pole dancing and I'm really good at it. Well, I wanted your uncle. Is Tony your uncle? Yes. I wanted yes. Tony to come and pole dance with me because I learned the fireman spin. Well, maybe you could come and show us that. <laughs> I think I should come and pole swim. You can. That was you a can. segment on, yes. on TV. Yes. I'm that would be fun. It. Yes. So what age groups? Um, for that class, but it's... You it's, got the poles originally for seniors for I stability, did. right? So and seniors are, are able to use them. They're good for stability, support. When they with balance in the water. Aquatic exercise. In, yes, that's right. Uh, but we can kick it up a notch. Getting creative. And we're get we're getting there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I, what age then are you looking at for pools? For uh, swimming. Um, oh. ages uh, 13 and over for adult really? classes. Yep. Fun. Okay. That is fun. Um, okay, so that's one. That's one. Another one we I'm excited about is our kettlebell amped class. Okay. Now which we had is, a little chat about this because we I did. Was, I was ignorant in the <laughs> ways of the kettlebell. <laughs> I thought she was saying cowbells, and I thought, what do you Not cow. Cowbell? Ding, a ding, a ding, a moo at the Y. We need more cowbells. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of workout I do. No, no. no kettlebells. Kettle. Those are the round balls with the rubber, the rubber, and they have a rubber handle. Yeah, the handles on them. I've seen them. Yes. I've never touched one. Well, what do you do with them? You can swing them. <laughs> you can swing them. <laughs> swing them. Swing them. Yeah. Uh, we use them for squats, lunges. Uh, we use them Ooh. for. Uh, Planks, you can tap you can, it. You can, oh, yes, it's all. Of, and so you know what? Let me guess. That's really good for developing core strength too, isn't it? It is. Especially if you're planking with kettlebells. Yep. And you got kettlebell here. Um, we. Wow. It's all choreographed to music. Is it? And like some like great like rock music, all kinds of stuff. Oh, we have. I've been piloting piloting it through the summer, and we've been having a good time. So. I love you. Can, yeah. Your energy is fantastic. Erica. Oh, thank you. I try. Well, no, you make me want to come and do all these things. Okay, well, I then like, I better see you there. I like the exercise. So, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, because I did that Gina thing for the YMCA, yeah. I get to try the Y out. They gave me a little gift thing that I well, can come then, in and try some free stuff. Absolutely. Then you, you should come. see you there. I'm yes. gonna. Yes. Maybe even Gina. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Could I'm you? gonna go swing a kettlebell. <laughs> A cowbell, <laughs> bing bong. I'm gonna pole dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gina pole dancing. Can you do oh my that? God, be like your great aunt. It would be. Yeah. It would be. Um, another one that I'm excited about okay. is Zumba Strong. So it okay, is. So that's not the vacuum that cleans your house. That's no, a it's not. It's not a Roomba. A Zumba. It's a Zumba. So it's a mashup of. Uh, Zumba. <laughs> I'm injured. <laughs> Zumba Zumba class, which is. Um, Caribbean uh, flavored aerobics mixed well, you with. You get to eat jer jerk chicken while you work out. <laughs> mixed <laughs> with the boot camp. Boop, boot yeah, camp. Yeah, so and Zumba? boot camp and Zumba. So you have your Zumba strong. Who does that? Um, I have a little spitfire named Barbara, and she is awesome at it. Is she going to be nice to me? 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> we have to be. But it's, but it's, it's that great music that really gets it going. It is. It's yeah. the music. It's the choreography. Mm. It's it's everything. So I'm very excited about now, that. Erica, these classes, you guys are all trained professionals. So if there, yes. if there are uh, any kind of barriers to movement, you, we you give mo we give definitely give modifications. Mm -hmm. So if if you are don't be scared. It's a, <laughs> if you are uh, s just first starting, like mm -hmm. it's your first time coming, we ease you in. Uh, there's always your beginner, your intermediate, your advanced moves. Mm -hmm. um, all of our instructors are certified, so if you have any questions, you can go and ask. We have everything from aquatics to Zumba. All right. Listen, yes. we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to let Sue speak. Okay. <laughs> and that might be free. Really this look, to look pretty, Sue. So when we come back, we're going to hear about what's going on from her end of the table right after this quick commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> she <won. laughs> okay. We're back with the YMCA and Sue Ryamaki. Hey, folks. What's going <laughs> <laughs> what do you got going on from your end? Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on <laughs> well, from your end of the table. Well, from my end of the table. Yeah. Uh, well, as I said, I'm the resource development coordinator, so um, that uh, gives me on my plate uh, fundraising. Oh, okay. So uh, right now we Someone's have... Somebody's got to pay for the polls. Somebody has to pay for the polls, <laughs> and as well as uh, we have sponsored memberships, and we're open and inclusive to all, you know, oh. regardless if folks can afford to pay the full membership fee. Look at how nice um, you turn so that around. So that we, was no. That was that absolutely true. Yeah. You are geared to income or whatever. Absolutely, right? yeah. we, we we do have we do have uh, geared to income. So it never occurred to me that your fundraising is what allows you to be able to do that kind of stuff. To absolutely, yes. absolutely. Offer memberships to everybody. Yep. Offer memberships. Offer uh, subsidized childcare. You know, because we do have a, we were one of the largest childcare facilities in Sault Ste. Marie. Oh, so mm -hmm. you, we can offer that subsidized childcare, and we need that pot of funds to be able to. How can we help? Well, we, we're, right now we have um, our uh, Dream Draw, our Strong Kids Dream Draw tickets on sale. Uh, you get uh, three tickets for uh, $10 or one for five. Top prize is... Why would anybody buy one for five and you get three for ten, people? Three for ten for the YMCA. Yeah. What am I going to win? Uh, first prize is a $5,000 travel voucher that you can use to go anywhere. Come uh, on. Courtesy of North, North Star Travel. Absolutely. Oh, because I can't afford to go away right now. <laughs> if I win, I'm taking you. Okay, buy a that's ticket. Great. Buy, buy a, a ticket. ticket. I'm not going to buy yeah. one. I'm going to buy three. <laughs> I'm going to buy six. So um, go. we're going to be set up in Station Mall throughout... Um, September, October, and right till the draw date, November 4th. Oh, we got a couple of months to get in on this. Absolutely. Yes. As well as you can come up to the Y, of course. Uh, purchase tickets at the, at the Y, front desk. at the front desk. And while you're there, if you haven't seen the Y facility for a little while, take a tour of our Y because we're like, we're just expanded and great. Mm -hmm. And we've renovated a few years back. So it's, it, everything is really brand spanking new and yeah. You guys are just, I'm, I'm like vibrating. It's so, the energy in this room is amazing. I love this. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. um, the tickets are, so in the mall. It, it will be, we'll be stationed in station mall. Like you'll have a table set up? Absolutely. A YMCA table? Absolutely. Yeah, we will have a YMCA table, um, different dates and times throughout okay. from now until November. But then stop in the Y. Why yeah. not stop by? I want people to come by the Y. Come and see come us. Come and visit. Get a workout. Get a workout. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah, your absolutely. workout in. You, absolutely. You can, can you try a workout? Like, do they? Yes, do you guys yes. allow that? Yep. Yeah, we do. We do. I thought I was special. <laughs> <laughs> but also, also, you, like, you a, are. A, everyone's <laughs> Everybody special. Everybody is why. special. That, that was the, that, like, the first prize is the five thousand dollar travel. Oh, there's voucher. more. But wait, yeah, there's, there's some more. The second prize is a uh, family membership. Yeah. At the Y. That's gotta be a, a family big plus mm -hmm. membership. Family plus. Yes. yes. So um, the adults get to use the um, adult uh, plus facility, we, which where you get your towels yes. and you get like a like toiletries, a toiletries, and it's a special area. Yeah. That, oh, yes. Yes. Deluxe. Special coded area that mm -hmm. you get to go to. Deluxe. Yeah. And then third prize, uh, we partnered with our friends at uh, Sergemont Ski Resort, and uh, they have uh, given us uh, six youth passes for lifts for the season, upcoming season. That's the third prize. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, my gosh. Great. Yeah, it, it's wonderful. So you can win stuff and still help out the Y and support yeah. our community. Yeah, and, and then and then the draws on November fourth, which correlates with our holiday bazaar that's going on at the Y, and there'll be more information coming out about that. You're going to come back on the show and talk about the holiday bazaar. Uh, absolutely, I'd love you to. Better. I'd love to. Now we have the we have the Humane Society coming up next. Tell me how you're going to segue with me to the Humane Society. What's going on? Is it Monday? Uh, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. What's going on? Tuesday we have our second annual doggy dip. 
That's when the pool goes to the dogs. <laughs> It's all gone to the dogs. It's all gone to the dogs. Just because it's time to clean the pool and stuff, and so before you do the big changeover with the water, you invite go. Yeah, we we invite the the public to bring their dogs for a minimum ten dollar donation to our strong kids, which you know is which enables strong kids foundation. Yeah, or our strong kids campaign. Campaign. Yeah. um, Which enables us to uh, you know uh, fund subsidized memberships. Right. Um, So so for ten bucks. For ten bucks, you can bring your dog and do a dip into the pool. That goes on from five till seven on Tuesday, Tuesday, September the 4th. 4th. And then we have like our small dogs from five to six, 26 pounds and under, and large dogs, seven, six to seven. I love it. Yeah, and, and, and we're hoping our friends from the Humane Society come because we've sent, sent them an invite on that as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, you guys, thanks so much for coming in. It thanks for having us. us. Anytime. Yeah, this is great. Okay, okay. This is great. Ryan Mackey. It's I'll see you over the weekend. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, for sure. We come do. over and see Bowser yeah. and now he's coming home. Oh, lovely. And uh, maybe we'll come for the doggy dip because we've got three. I would love to oh, see you guys at the them. doggy dip. Okay. And bring the pools. Them, please. Okay. And the pool. And the we got to go, otherwise, there's no time for the why. <laughs> I mean, for the Humane Society. <laughs> oh, I can't even keep my guests straight. We'll be right back after this brief message. Have a great weekend. have royalty with us this morning <laughs> at Mornings with Lou Ann and Tim, and it's not Laura, although, um, you know, I Laura, like to think I'm I a do bit of a queen. You, Laura. <laughs> Th- this is Sophie. Yes, we call her Queen Soph. Queen Soph. L- what now? This is not just an average cat. No, she's a purebred Himalayan. Purebred Himalayan? Like, this cat's worth money. <laughs> yeah, purebred Himalayans can be pricey, a few hundred dollars. A few hundred dollars, but... Or more, depending. Can I, I want to, her fur, she lo- looks yeah. like a dog. Well, she was groomed. Oh. Uh, a lot of times their fur is so fine and so soft it tangles easily. So a lot of these guys. She's well cared for. Yes. A lot of these guys, it's uh, better to keep them. This is called like a lion cut. I haven't met her until now. I'm wondering if she's nervous around me. Oh, well, she's a little bit leery sometimes. And look, they look like, um, is it lynx or whatever? Yeah, the, cat? the ear hair. The wisps, they're yeah. beautiful. And she's got gorgeous eyes, too. Those great, like an owl. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie, my gosh. So how did Sophie end up at the Humane Society? Sophie was in a family, um, and there was some new children. Small children. Yeah, and she wasn't climatizing well to the infant and the toddler. Because the, she's a queen. She's queen of the castle, queen absolutely. The castle. So, so whoever adopts Sophie, we're recommending that they... Either have older children that will leave her alone or even just a nice quiet home okay. for her with no children. So if you're a young professional couple or something and yeah. you'd like to have a be- beautiful animal. Because she is a snuggler. Um, but she is can she? Yes. She can be quite shy, though, if it's a busy environment. So a quieter household is yeah. better for her. At the shelter, she's got this big fuzzy slipper. It's yes. And she likes to sleep in it. <laughs> so, I mean, I always find that cats are a little bit um, they can be standoffish, that they yeah. come to you when they want affection or attention, and then they can go away on their own and be fine. Yep. Which, which I guess is one of the reasons why people like cats, is because they can be independent and you can... Absolutely. They're not, they're not as high maintenance as some dogs yeah. are. Some do have personalities, though, where they are very needy, but for the most part, yes. I mean, so they're independent. not a needy cat? No, She's she'll just independent, come, right? for you, come to you when she wants what love. Is she? She's only five and a half. She's still young. Yeah, and these types of cats, especially the purebreds, tend to have longer lifespan. Longer lifespan. So yeah. this is an investment. Yeah. Uh, and you're looking at hundreds of dollars to buy a cat like this purebred. How much money are we looking at the Humane Society to adopt her? Uh, Sophie's a reduced adoption fee because she already came to us fixed, so she's only $50. Oh. And she's declawed as well. No, come on. Yes. So this is a beautiful indoor cat for <laughs> a family of the, with mature children or no children in a quiet household. $50 for a cat that's valued at far more than that. If this cat isn't gone by Labor Day, there's something wrong with you people. Uh, Laura, that's our time. Yes. It flies by. It does. You're always so kind to come in here, even only for four or five minutes. <laughs> it's but we my really, pleasure. Uh, well, thank you so much. Have a great long weekend. You too. We know that you're open f- Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Yes, and Monday we are closed. You are closed on Labor yeah. Day. All right, so we'll be back to say goodbye with Lou Anne after this, but thanks to our friend Laura and Queen Sophie from the Humane Society. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Serious. She's gorgeous. Oh, feel that. Fur. I know. That it's so fine. That's why they tend to. Uh, you can groom a cat. Yeah, I. My wow.
Wasn't she beautiful? Laura is beautiful. Oh, the cat. Yeah, yeah the cat. Yeah. The and cat. Should, she had the little uh, zipper case. For yes. It. The cat jumped right in, loves it, travels like that. This Isn't cat that is amazing awesome? for 50 bucks. Five and a half years old. She's and sort of set. She's for a long time because she's a purebred. She's beautiful. Gorgeous. Nice, nice colors. I know. So do you have plans for the long? You do? I do, yes. You're going on a date. Yes, I'm going on a date with my husband Cross tomorrow the river. night. Yes, we're going to go and uh, just uh, hoot and holler a little bit across. The river. Right what about you? From across the, I'm, I'm going to pick up Mr. Bowser right after I get off work today and bring him home. Awesome. And then he starts work on a movie in Sault Ste. Marie and then he goes back to Letter Kenny again in the fall. Oh, you guys are just so busy. You Have an stop. awesome, awesome long weekend. Enjoy that extra day off. And make sure you stay safe, Sault Ste. Marie. No drinking and driving, right? We've got all kinds of alternatives to that out there. So uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And we'll be back Tuesday right here on Mornings with Luann and Kim.